Hey, what's up, Michelle? Hey, Forrest. How are you? Excellent. <laughs> Great. So, uh, what are we talking about today? I just have one quick tip to give you guys today, and that is I just want to talk about the difference between whole grains and intact grains and why I want you to eat intact grains. Mm -hmm. um, whole grains, like a whole grain bread, is, some, is a grain that's actually been processed, so it's been broken down into smaller parts to make bread and make things soft and fluffy and nice. They're not bad for you, but when you're trying to lose weight, you want your body to work a little bit harder at breaking down your foods. And a really great way to do that is to change the grains that you're eating. And I like to recommend intact grains. And intact grains are something where you look at it and it looks like a grain. So oatmeal, barley, brown rice, they look like something, it's a grain, it's the whole thing is there, there's no part missing, it hasn't been pulverized, and it takes your body a little bit longer to break it down, and it helps keep you fuller longer, and it's just a better overall use of your body's energy. Mm -hmm. So the take home is eat intact grains. So what are some examples of non-intact grains that people would want to stay away from? Um, the whole wheat flours, things that would be in crackers and breads, muffins, pasta, all of those. White rice? Is uh, so. White rice would be a grain that's kind of wants to trick you it's like it's an intact stri grain. Stripped of the... But yeah, all of the fiber and the protein has been stripped from it. Mm. So it's really easy for your body to convert that into sugar and really fast and so when it can create it or break it down so fast it ends up turning into fat because mm -hmm. you're probably not going to use those carbohydrates unless you've eaten them kind of at a time where your body really needs them mm. so yeah so I'd stay away from if you're trying to lose weight I'd kind of stay away from the pastas the breads the crackers muffins cakes all of those things mm -hmm. and just go for the barley and the oats oatmeal for breakfast instead of a muffin or a scone when you're at Starbucks. Starbucks has oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your intact grains. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome.